Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the confirmed team of the year release date on FIFA 19 and also talking about the transfer market because the market did actually drop today from a little bit of panic selling. So first of all, before we get into the video, make sure you do subscribe. We are aiming for 13,000 subscribers and I'm also making around two videos a day so you definitely don't want to miss them. So going straight into the video now, as we can see here on Twitter, EA Sports have actually changed their kind of Twitter header to coming January the 7th. And of course, at first we were wondering if it's just going to be announced, of course, the team of the year on January the 7th because there was a bit of speculation. Some people were saying there's not enough time because the closing date was actually on January 7th for all of the people actually to announce and like kind of tweet it out on social media, other stuff like that. All of the rules are, of course, said by EA Sports of how to kind of vote all of these game changes and everything like that that did actually get the team of the year voting boxes. Of course, we do know that it did happen, that sort of thing in FIFA 18. But it is actually going to be on January 7th, as we can see here on the screen. This was actually from the EA Sports' website. They did actually change it, actually, because at the start, it didn't actually say that there is going to be, of course, it does say, with special Team of the Year player items available in packs for a limited time in FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. So I think at the start, that was actually a mistake from EA Sports. They were meant to add that, and it did actually confuse some of us. So, of course, now it has been confirmed by EA Sports, and it is actually going to be on January the 7th. So, of course, now talking about the market there has actually been quite a lot of panic selling like I said in my past videos if you actually sold in the right time I was actually expecting a bit of a bigger gap that you could actually sell but if you actually did sell when I made that video that you should sell all of your players then you should have been fine but if you actually still haven't sold your players now I would kind of say it's a bit too late because there has been quite a few people panic selling already but I think the market is going to keep going down that's in my opinion because EA Sports of course they didn't really do a community vote or anything like that they wanted to stick with what they did in FIFA 18 and this is all just done so EA Sports can create more hype around this team of the year promo event because I did see they did send these ballot boxes to people like F2 freestylers who don't do FIFA 19 content at all but all of those football fans that do watch their videos that's their target audience and they do want lots of those players of course or lots of fans of F2 freestylers to be excited of course for this FIFA 19 team of the year event and the more and more people see more of these videos there's still more videos to come of course from all of these game changes it's just going to be more panic selling. My next videos are all going to be about Team of the Year Market Crash, what's our next move, and also what's going to be going on in the following days. So make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss those. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.